Hey, welcome back to the shop, friends. Yesterday afternoon, I spent the day, or yesterday afternoon at least, coming up with a uh, workflow for drilling the holes for our drill bits. We're working on the French cleat mounted drill bit organizer. This is part two. So today, let's go ahead and finish up this project. So taking the extra time and actually measuring out where we're going to place the holes will make all the difference in the final looks of the organizer. After playing around with a few different designs, I found that it seems to look the best that the bits are spaced about one inch apart and that also allows plenty of room for the bits to fit in there without hitting one another. So you can see there that I've got them spaced out or I've marked where the spacing will be and now I'll come back with my combination square and mark a nice uh, perpendicular line to those markings so we know exactly where the bits will be placed. It would be really easy to get in a hurry and just sort of eyeball where the holes will go for the bits but in the end, it'll look so much better to take the extra couple minutes and mark out the spacing. I preset my marking gauge so I can mark the center of the line on the bevel that we have here. That way the bits are centered right in the middle of the bevel. and. I preset that yesterday when I was when I was working on coming up the workflow and that m makes it much easier to reliably and quickly go through and mark the center. That way we know exactly where to drill the holes. It turns out that the jig that I made for making the corner chisel sheath is perfect for drilling holes at a 45 degree angle. This is a little bit of a slow process, but it'll make all the difference in the end and make it look really nice. So I, I've clamped the jig into the uh, drill press and then I've got just a, a piece of uh, wood in the back there um, as a sacrificial piece. That way I don't drill into the jig and then I just line up the, uh, the uh, stock that we're cutting and drill out the hole and then um, I just, I'm trying to actually drill the correct size hole for each bit. So that's the slow part is just taking the bits out and changing them out. I got all the holes drilled for the bits and now we can go ahead and test fit them and see how all the bits fit. I was definitely tempted to just drill the holes using my hand drill here but I'm definitely glad I didn't because using the drill press gets everything nice and um, Every, all the all the holes are the exact same direction and uh, all the bits are going the same direction which makes it look so much better. So now I'm just going to take my pen and go through and label these and um, then we can move on to the next step. So I've gone ahead and labeled and drilled the holes for all the bits. Now we can go ahead and fasten down the holders to the plywood base. Just in case I need to remove any of the bits, I'm gonna take a picture. That way it'll be easier for me to get the bits back into their correct place.
So I just went ahead and glued and put three screws in that bottom tool holder. And now I'm gonna space each tool holder from there two inches from the one be uh, below it. I'm just gonna use my framing square to do that. And I'm just gonna work my way up. And then once we get to the final, or once we get to the top, then we're gonna need to uh, drill out the holes for the longer bits. So I've gotten all the bit holders glued and screwed down except for the two at the top that will secure the longer bits. And I'm gonna start out by screwing and gluing down the, the lower blocking which the bits will rest against. There won't be any holes drilled in this uh, piece. The, the bits will just sit on top of that and then the holder above that will drill the holes in for the bits to go through. So the next thing I want to do is build a frame around the, the tool holder. So I'm just going to use some of this scrap wood I got and uh, cut these uh, miters on the edges and then we'll fasten that around the uh, perimeter of the tool holder. It'll make it look really nice. This is just some three quarter premium stock I had stored here in the shop. going to glue the frame up just yet. I've got it clamped into place here and what I want to be able to do is take the the top tool holder and the frame top off together that way I can take it over to the drill press and drill those holes for the uh, longer bits. So I'm going to make sure that I like the way everything fits and then I'm going to attach these two pieces together and then I can mark out where the drill bits will go and take them to the drill press and drill those out and then bring it back over and then fasten the frame all together the same time. I'm just going to go ahead and glue these two pieces together and put a couple brad nails in just to hold it together until I get everything drilled, drilled out. So just like on the other tool holders, I spaced out I spaced out each potential hole at one inch and then I went ahead and found the center and marked the center of the top of the frame and that will go through the tool holder as well and then mount into the frame like that. And then as the tool inserts through the top two pieces, it'll rest here on this piece. Of the longer bits that I have, these four are all about the same um, bore or diameter. So I'm going to go ahead and drill these four first, and then I'll go back and figure out what the dimensions of these larger bits are. for the top piece. The holes range all the way from one inch all the way down to the smaller bit sizes. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue on the frame and get that all positioned. And then we can get this thing brad and nailed together and we'll be almost done. So 
last thing I need to do is add the cleat to the top and the spacer to the bottom. Be sure when you're gluing your cleat on that you don't get any glue too close to the 45 degree because then when you hang your cabinet up it'll glue it to the wall and it'll be near impossible to get it off. I added three screws to the cleat just for extra strength. I think we're ready to hang it on the wall and see how it looks. Well, the French cleat bit organizer is completely done. This project is a wraps. So be sure to leave a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.